Skin wrap is usually used to have a low resolution mesh drive the animation of a high resolution mesh. Practically, however, its use is somewhat different. For example, its application in the gaming industry is to use skin wrap to transfer skinning data from one character to another. Many times in a gaming project, you have to duplicate characters that look somewhat alike but with slight variations. Two soldiers may look similar, but one may have an extra pouch on his uniform while the other may carry an extra gun belt. Other variations may include fat, medium or skinny characters in a crowd. As long as these characters have the same general build, meaning general height and proportions, then you can transfer skinning data effortlessly. In that case, they can all share the same skinning template and rig. It is important therefore to be able to recycle your work, given that properly skinning a single character can take hours or even days. After properly skinning a single character, you can then transfer that information in a matter of minutes or even seconds using skin wrap. The scene you will be using here has a few objects, mainly characters, but also a biped skeleton. The main character named Full Body has already been properly skinned to the biped skeleton. The biped at this time is in figure mode, but if you exit figure mode, you can see the animation used to test the skinning. Go back into figure mode to get the initial pose back. This particular example is using a biped skeleton, but skin wrap works equally well with any type of skeletons, be it biped, cat, or simple bones. Select the two characters to the left and hide them. You'll only use them in part two of this series. Zoom in and take a look at the remaining characters. The main skinned character on the left and the one in the center are very much alike. They have the same topology, and you can tell that one was used to create the other. There are some slight variations, such as a pouch and a bandage on the character's right leg, a knee pad on the left, the torso has some wacky protruding design, and there are some extra laces on the left forearm. The warrior character on the extreme right is totally different though. The topology is nowhere near, and you can see that it was designed and built independently. However, in terms of general height and proportions, the two characters do have something in common. Let's take one problem at a time. Select the warrior and hide it. You'll concentrate on the two characters with slight variations. If you select the main character, you will notice that its pivot point is between its feet, located at world coordinates 000. This is typical when you model a character and will make it easier to position the other characters you want to skin wrap. Select the variations character and notice that it too has its pivot point between its feet. For skin wrap to work, the two objects have to be on top of each other. Relocate the character to 000 so that it's sitting on top of the original. Notice also that both have the same initial pose. This is important for skin wrap to work properly. In wireframe mode, notice also that besides the obvious variations like pouch and chest logo, there are some less obvious variations around the shoulder areas. All this to say that the two models do not have to be exactly identical. With the variations model selected, go to the Modify panel and apply a Skin Wrap modifier. Before choosing a control object to drive your mesh, take a look at some of the options. You can drive the deformation by vertex or face types. Which one you choose will depend largely on the object at hand and your personal preference. Many riggers in the games industry seem to favor face deformation, so go ahead and use that one. The falloff value ranges from 0.001 to 10. This determines how vertices in the animated or control object affect or pull vertices in your selected object, referred to as a base object. However, when using face deformation, it is often best to use a rigid transformation by setting the falloff value to 0.001. Next, you define a control object, in this case the full body character that is already skinned and animated. In the parameters group, click Add. Select the full body character underneath the one you are working on. As 3ds Max processes this info, you get a status feedback in the bottom left corner of the screen. 
When it reaches 100%, make sure you right-click to cancel Add Mode, otherwise you may accidentally click another object and add it to the list. The process is now done. To test how skin wrap worked, select the biped's head and go to the motion panel. Exit figure mode. Scrub the animation to see the results. Between frames 0 and 650, verify that the lower body worked correctly. Notice how nicely the knee pad is behaving around frame 260. Check out the torso between frame 660 and 1100. If you had to manually skin that chest logo, you would have had to spend a good deal of time on it. Hands, fingers and forearms can be checked between frames 1150 and 1950. As long as the variations character is skin wrapped, changes you make to the control character, full body, will be propagated to it. At frame 1900, say you want to adjust the deformation of the forearm. Select the full body character. In the Modify panel, click Edit Envelopes and select the third ring of vertices from the wrist. Highlight the left forearm two roll envelope in the list and try some changes to the absolute effect value. Notice that it updates both the control object and the base object, the one you skin wrapped. Once you're happy with the changes, you want to go back to your initial pose. With biped, it's a question of selecting a part of the skeleton and going into figure mode. At this point, you can make your base object named Variations, independent from the control object driving it. With the Variations character selected, go to the Modify panel and click the Convert to Skin button. You now have a new skin modifier with all the proper envelopes and vertex weights assigned to your character. Notice how the Skin Wrap modifier has been automatically turned off. In fact, you can now select it and delete it. You can now test the animation again. If there are any skinning areas that require tweaking, you can certainly address them. It will only take a fraction of the time tweaking a few vertex weights here and there, rather than having to skin this character from scratch. Skin wrap probably just saved you a couple of days on your schedule. Add the variations character and from the selection sets list choose Warrior. Click Yes to dismiss the warning. Make sure the biped is in figure mode so that both characters are in the initial pose. As mentioned earlier, this character is quite different from the main full body character. The only things in common are general volume and proportions. Place the warrior character at 000 and repeat the procedure to skin wrap it to the control object. Select the biped's head and exit figure mode. Isolate the warrior and test the animation. For the most part, it's really not too bad at all. There are certainly some areas that require a bit of attention, such as under the armpits, noticeable between frames 1150 and 1950. The wrists also could use some adjustments, and that's noticeable around frame 1780. The head seems most problematic between frames 2250 and 2500, but that's only because the warrior character actually has a head. The original full body character didn't. Skin Wrap didn't know what to do with that. The point is, all these are simple tweaks that can be done in a fraction of the time it takes to skin the warrior character from scratch. Go back to the original pose by selecting the biped's head and going into figure mode.
Select the Warrior character and convert Skin Wrap into a Full Skin modifier. Delete the Skin Wrap modifier underneath it. Go into Edit Envelopes and select all the skin vertices that make the head. Do not select the ones on the neck. Select the BIP001 head envelope and set those selected vertices to an absolute effect of 1. This will ensure the head vertices are weighted to follow the biped's head only and no other bones. Similarly, you can fine-tune the other areas such as wrists and armpits. Tweaking a few vertex weights here and there is a matter of minutes. Skinning a full character from scratch is often a matter of days. Go back into figure mode when done. Hide the warrior and from the selection sets menu choose LODs. Dismiss the warning. In the next movie you'll experiment using skin wrap with LODs, level of detail objects.